to welcome the chief, newly installed chief rabbi of Ireland, Yoni Vider, to speak. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out today to speak. Hi. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you for organizing. And thank you to all of you for standing in solidarity with us today. Israel is not alone. The Jewish people are not alone. And I've been asked to share the experiences of the Jewish community in Ireland. On Friday, President Higgins took to denouncing the Israeli ambassador for what he called the irresponsible claims of anti-Semitism in this country. He said it's outrageous to speak of widespread anti-Semitism. He labeled it a PR exercise by an administration intent on covering up violations of international law. The day before President Higgins made those statements, I met with President Higgins and I'm so grateful that he warmly received me and some of my colleagues even though he knew he would be criticized for it as he was on social media and I didn't go in thinking that I could persuade President Higgins about the absurdity of recognizing a Palestinian state at this stage a state that does not yet exist at a time when Hamas is still at the helm when they are still intent of murdering Jews across the world, still intent of eradicating the state of Israel from the river to the sea, and when they enjoy widespread support from the Palestinian people. But I did hope that maybe I'd be able to open President Higgins' eyes to what it is that the Jews of Ireland feel, what they're experiencing, that he would listen to what myself and other lay leaders said about how we're feeling because the political and social climate right now in Ireland is one where so many members of the Jewish community feel deeply isolated and hurt. We have been told implicitly and explicitly that our views, that our feelings about the war, that our support of Israel is not acceptable. That, it, that our support of Israel has no place in Irish society. Not a week has passed since October 7th that I haven't had people tell me that they feel that they're not able to express their Jewish identity, to express their support in Israel. Young children, teenagers in university, they tell me that they have no safe space to express their views, to express their Judaism or their let alone their support for Israel. I spoke last week to a teenager in a private school who told me that her whole class was made to sit and watch a video, one of the most woefully biased video on the Israel-Palestine conflict. It was a video pro produced by Mackin and it's comical in its portrayal of the history of the conflict. It's totally prejudiced. It's totally dishonest. Like so much of the rhetoric being fed in the Irish media at the moment. And week after week, I speak to members of the Jewish community, senior members of the Jewish community, at once so proud in their Judaism and in their place in Irish society who tell me that never before have they felt such a tension between those two identities. Never before have they felt their viewpoint as Jewish people to be so delegitimized. And this is what President Higgins and so many others fail to recognize. Because when I speak of the viewpoint of the Jewish community in Ireland, I'm not speaking just about Israeli Jews, although they certainly concur. Thank you to the Israeli Jews here today. But I'm talking about the views of the core Irish Jewish community, families that have been here for five, six, seven generations. These are families who for decades have been contributing disproportionately to the civil, professional, cultural and commercial life of this country. 
who have always made it their business to be loyal and grateful to this country, to engage, to be part of the discourse. These are lawyers and doctors, teachers, employers and employees who have served in local hospitals and schools and volunteered in charities and in soup kitchens and in whatever else I don't know. And they tell me that now for the first time they're being told they have no place in the discourse, their viewpoint is not legitimate. And judging from President Higgins' comments, the only thing he took out of our meeting is that many Jews in Ireland don't support preventing aid trucks getting into Gaza. And that's true. But it's, why is that the only thing that President Higgins can say on behalf of the Jewish community? Why does President Higgins still fail to accept that the vast majority of Irish Jewry have strong affinity with the State of Israel? That we support Israel in taking the steps it needs to take to defend itself and to eliminate the threat of Hamas? And he was unmoved when he was told by a senior member of the Jewish community that as much as it pains him to say it, he's grateful that his grandkids are not going to be brought up in Ireland if this is the climate they're going to have to face. We must be careful not to take things out of proportion. We are grateful that for the most part there has been very little violence. We are grateful to the local authorities, to the Garda for keeping us safe for their presence today. Thank you. We are grateful for the protection you're providing us today and have always been so quick to provide. But at the same time, in an island that where our leaders speak so much about diversity and inclusion, our voice as the Jewish people is not being listened to. It's not being heard. And that is something that needs to change. That is something that needs to change now. Our politicians, the media, they need to start listening. And amidst all the isolation, amidst how much we feel that we haven't been part of the discourse, it's so heartwarming to see the support that we have here today. And to all of you here today. To all of you here today that are not part of the Jewish faith and the Jewish culture, we thank you for standing with us. Israel is not alone. The Jewish people are not alone. We have marvelous friends. In good times and especially now in hard times. Thank you for your support of Israel. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for your solidarity. Am Yisrael Chai. Am Yisrael Chai. Am Yisrael.